Welcome back. It's 442 All Eyes on Hurricane Milton. Uh, I will start by saying our weather is completely quiet. No issues, cool mornings and warm afternoons. But our friends in Florida are getting ready for this major hurricane. It is still a Category 5 this morning. Hurricane hunters are still flying in it, finding that it is still a very strong hurricane. 160 mile per hour sustained winds gusting to 195. The speed of it has sped up. It is now moving at 14 miles per hour. A closer look though, you can see that well defined eye is becoming less and less defined, but it is still a powerful hurricane. It will take some time for a category five to lose some of its steam. Now we uh, have it making landfall later on tonight, still as a category four hurricane and then making its way through the peninsula of Florida from Tampa to Orlando as a hurricane producing strong winds surge and heavy flooding rains and then by tomorrow afternoon it will be in the Atlantic here and then continuing to weaken as it moves towards Bermuda. It'll bring some Bermuda, some gusty winds and rain this weekend, but no longer a hurricane then. Here's a closer look at the landfall track right now. Models have really been honing in on the Sarasota area. Now this type of track would be a better scenario for Tampa, but remember the chance of this hurricane following exactly along that path isn't a guarantee. These storms often wobble and especially this storm, which is getting picked up by upper level winds. It is possible that it gets slung to the north a little bit, so I am not breathing a sigh of relief in Tampa yet. I know models are locking in on the Sarasota area, but it is too close for comfort uh, to let your guard down there in the Tampa Bay area where they could still see that 15 feet of storm surge. Now strong winds. Yes, coming in with this wind gust over 100 miles an hour right here closer to where the center makes landfall, but damaging winds all the way up into Orlando, nearly Daytona Beach, Fort Pierce here in the red area. Power outages are likely storm surge 10 to 15 feet anywhere near that center or south. That does include some of the hard hit areas from Hurricane Ian, Port Charlotte, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, all getting ready for a similar surge to what they saw from Ian. And I mean, you know what Ian did to those areas. It was catastrophic as well. So still a very, very serious situation with storm surge for those areas near <clears throat> and just south of the center. Now the hurricane itself, you can see it spinning away there. It starts to encounter that shear and transition from tropical to non tropical, but that doesn't really change the impacts. A lot of the rain is going to be on the northern side of Milton as it makes landfall. See your winds gusting nearly 100 miles an hour, and then this is tomorrow or late tonight. All the rain on the north side dry on the south side, but still the surge comes coming in. You don't need rain to get winds and storm surge and then by tomorrow afternoon it's long gone. Rainfall totals. This is probably an overstated or understated fact right now. We could see some significant flooding on the northern side of that storm, just like we saw with Francine where some saw 8 to 12 inches. That could happen across the peninsula of Florida. So Milton's exiting. Here we go. Goodbye. Our weather's staying pretty. In fact, I've got a beautiful cool front next week. And this is a real cold front, our strongest one of the season.